For many of you, you've reached a stale content point of the season. During that time, many people go after triumphs or activities they haven't been able to get to during the year. Also, with fire teams dwindling with the holidays and lack of content, many times you are looking to those activities by yourself. For some of you, that might be finishing items like those pesky master law sectors. Not only are they a good source of loot, but they also present a higher end challenge to folks who want to do the activity solo. For this season, I've developed a build that takes pieces from some of my other builds for GMs and other PvE content, combines them into a champion's focused build that will allow you to easily control all enemies and easily finish any solo content flawlessly. I primarily use this for master law sectors, but you can extend this to anything that has champions and that you're trying to do solo. Let's get into the details. Again, this build is focused on slowing and freezing your enemies or stunning champions. It allows you to keep your survival rate high no matter what the challenge you take on. First off for this build, we're going to do Shade Binder. And for grenades, I use dust fill grenades to slow enemies. The type of grenade for this type of build is not as important as other things, but that's what I used for this. Glacial Harvest. Freezing enemies leave shards around frozen targets. Higher tier targets create more shards. Bleak Watcher turns grenades into handy frozen turrets. And again, you guys have all seen this. It's it's the it's the base of most Warlock Shadebinder builds. Whisper of Rhyme. Shards grant a small amount of overshield. More shards grant larger overshields. Typically, you need about five or six shards to grant a full overshield, and it lasts for about 10 seconds. Whisper of Torment. Gain grenade energy back each time you take damage from targets, and you'll be taking a lot of damage whenever you're in these sort of content. Whisper of Bonds gains super energy from defeating frozen targets, and there will be a lot of frozen targets for you to defeat. Whisper of Chains. While you are near a frozen target or crystals, you take reduced damage from targets. So from an ability perspective, I'm spawning Bleak Watcher turrets that freeze and control enemies. I'm getting grenade energy back whenever I take damage, which will often happen in these activities. I'm getting super energy back when I defeat frozen targets, which will happen often with this build, and I will get an overshield when I pick up shards, which I will produce in this build with some pieces I will add later. Finally, if I happen to be near a frozen target, I get reduced damage. As you can see, most of this build focus on reducing the damage I take and getting my stasis abilities back quicker. Now let's talk about mods. So first off on my headpiece, I'm going to use Hands On Twice. So first off, it's a lot cheaper in the season if you've unlocked it on the seasonal pass. Melee kills grant super energy. Again, I'm trying to gain super energy in this build where I can, so this is helpful. Final Wisdom, I get extra super regen ability that is timed. On my arms, I use whatever mods I need for champions and elemental shards. This requires stasis armor, but will allow you to grab shards and turn them into elemental well abilities. Since you gain a ton of shards by doing pretty much anything in the game with this build, you'll uh, constantly be able to proc elemental well abilities. On my chest, I use Battle of Mantle Harmony. Gain super energy on elemental weapon takedown. All of my weapons this build are elemental, so that I will gain super regen basically just by doing kills. And then Final Wisdom again. So again, I'm doing this again, and you'll know later in the build why I'm able to stack this on top of each other, but this again will allow me to extend the duration of me being able to regen my super, which is basically me getting my intellect up to 100, which also allow me to rebalance my build to be able to have less intellect and work on other abilities. On my legs, I'm using Elemental Time Dilation. This allows all mods that are timed abilities to stack. So that Final Wisdom now stacks twice. So again, like I said earlier, you're basically going to have your intellect at 100 for pretty much the entire game. Now in your class ability, it doesn't matter what you do from an Elemental Well perspective. Um, you could put another font of wisdom if you want to further extend out your intellect. You could put different things. Again, I'll leave that up to you because depending on the type of content you're running, you might want to customize this. But there are two key mods you need to put on your class item. One is Thermoclassic Strike. Melee ability stun overload champions. This allows your charge melee on your warlock to stun champions. This will give you some flexibility when dealing with overloads. Obviously, with the weapons I talk about later, I can handle them as well but you can also decide not to use something for overload and instead use this instead. Then I also get Resonant Siphon. When you are a member of your fire team stun a champion, you get Stasis Ability Energy. With Resonant Siphon in place, basically every time you stun a champion, you're going to get a large percentage of your grenade energy back and your other abilities, which allow you to constantly put Bleak Watchers. And we'll talk about in a second why for this particular build, that'll allow you to basically have a Bleak Watcher constantly, which again will allow you to control everything in the battlefield. So let's talk about weapons. The primary weapon I use for this build is my favorite for this season, Le Monarch. This works so well on Overload Champions because when you get Precision Hits, it spreads poison that continuously stuns Overloads. If you get two of them together, it's like a stunning party. Because of Resonance Scythe, each time you do that, you get Ability Energy back. With three stuns, you can get your Grenade, Rift, or Charge Melee back every time from zero. 
Also, your Bleak Watchers generate shards every time you freeze a target. Higher level targets generate more shards. I found that with a Bleak Watcher and constantly freezing them while stunning them by the time they are defeated, I have enough shards near them where I can get my overshield from Whisper of Rhyme every time. After that, you can mix and match whatever you need for the activity. For Unstoppable, I will sometimes bring in Fusion Rifles or my Messenger. And for Barriers, I a lot of times use Chroma Rush, but again, it just depends on what you like and what you're comfortable with and what the burns are. So again, this build is primarily focused on freezing targets and stunning champions. While doing this, I get ener ability energy back and constantly, and I can reduce incoming damage and be granted overshield. That allows me to easily solo flawlessly mid-tier PvE content without need of fire team. Try this out and let me know your thoughts. And that's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump into my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.